Hey guys, uh, welcome to the 10th tutorial of data structures. Uh, in, this tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see the applications of list ADT. So far, in the previous tutorials, we have seen the process and operations of list ADT. And in this tutorial, what we are going to see is we are going to see the applications of list ADT where it has been implemented. So the concepts of list ADT are being implemented in uh, several topics and several areas. Uh, for example, we, we will assume just three topics. The first topic which we are going to see is polynomial ADT. So list ADT's first application is polynomial ADT. We can see the radix sort in the next tutorial. Okay. So uh, in this tutorial, we are going to see what is a polynomial ADT. Now, uh, polynomial expressions are given over here and uh, we are going to see how we are going to represent a polynomial expression in a linked list manner. Right. So now 3x cube where 3 is the coefficient and x is the power, right? So this has been represented in a linked list format where the first segment consists of the coefficient, the second segment consists of the power. So 3x cube is being represented as 3 and 3 where the first segment consists of the coefficient and the second segment consists of the power, okay? And the third segment consists of the next address where it is being moved on to the next polynomial where 2x square is being represented. So, <coughs> sorry. So, in 2x square, the coefficient is 2 and the power is again 2. So, again, we are going to the next node where it is being moved on to 8x. So, here 8x. 8 is the coefficient, okay, the power of x is 1 and it, move, it goes on. So, this is how we represent a polynomial expression in a list, linked list manner, okay. Similarly, 4x cube plus, nothing is available, so 4x cube plus 2x plus 8. So, this is being expressed as 4 as the coefficient and 3 as the power okay and again next process in the next polynomial we are having 2x where 2 is the coefficient and power of x is 1 and in the next one we are having the last element where the coefficient is 8 so there is no x value so we can assume that x out x is power is 0 so x, anything to the power 0 is 1 so here it is 0 and the last element is null. So this is how we are representing the given equation in a linked list manner. Okay. And the various applications or various operations in a polynomial ADT are addition process, subtraction process and differentiation process. These are the three processes which we are going to see in this polynomial ADT. Suppose if we are going to add or subtract these two elements what are the conditions we have to check first first condition we have to check whether the both the equations are having valid values yes of course it is okay now the second condition what we have to see is we have to take the first polynomial okay by using pointer concept we have to assign the first polynomial which is 3x cube again and we have to select the first polynomial of the second equation Okay, so pointer 1 consists of list 1, pointer 2 consists of list 2 and we should create a new list 3. Okay, so now what we have to do is we are, we are going to add or subtract. Now let's assume we are going to add both the polynomial equations. So how are we going to do this is we are going to create a new node. Okay, where the first node is the coefficient and the second node is the power. Okay, so in this new node, what we are going to do is for the coefficient of this new node, we are checking whether the coefficient, I mean, we are checking whether the power of the first element and the power of the second element are same. Okay, if 3x cube and 4x cube, both the powers are equal because in order to add or subtract two polynomial entities, we have to check whether the powers are same, else we can't add or subtract those elements. 
So in this condition, it has been satisfied. So 3x cube and 4x cube can be added. So if this first pointers, first elements power and second pointers, first elements power are same, then we can add both the elements. So coefficient of the new node is equal to coefficient of the first node 3 plus coefficient of second node 4. So first coefficient plus second coefficient gives you the third new coefficient 7. Okay. So we have to add the coefficients, that's all. So 3x cube plus 4x cube is obviously 7x cube. So 7x cube, so we can't add the powers. We can just directly implement the power. So we can either take pointer 1's power or pointer 2's power. So, so this is your first node. For as we are creating this as the first node, we are assigning the next value as null. Okay. So we have added the first two polynomials and we have successfully given the output. Now what we have to do is we have to increment the polynomial pointers. So from 3x cube it moves on to 2x square and from 4x cube it moves on to 2x. Okay. Now what we are going to do is again we are going to repeat the process. So again what we have to do we have to create a new node. In this new node again we have to check whether the powers are equal or not. So in this case, the power of the first polynomial is 2 and the power of the second polynomial is 1. So which is not equal. So we have to move to the next condition. So what is the next condition? If the powers are not equal, we have to compare the powers. Is pointer 1's power greater than pointer 2? Okay. If the condition is true, then we have to sim uh, simply take the values of coefficient of coefficient and powers of the first polynomial. I repeat. We are checking whether the powers are equal or not. So here what the value we are going to select is 2x and here the what the value we are going to select is 2x square. The powers are not equal. So we are comparing the both the powers which power is bigger. So if PTR 1's power, pointer 1's power is higher then what we have to do is we have to write the coefficient of the new node is equal to pointer 1's coefficient. Okay and similarly if the new node's power is equal to pointer 1's power and x value is null. Okay. If suppose the if condition is in the vice versa situation. Okay. So if this is 2x and this is 2x square. So this power is higher. Then what we have to do is we have to select the coefficient and power of the second polynomial. So whichever power is higher, we have to select its coefficient and power. Okay. So this is how we are doing the polynomial addition and subtraction process okay and in next tutorial we can see the polynomial differentiation process okay so if you like this video kindly like and subscribe the channel and uh, until we meet in the next tutorial it's Karthik again signing off